Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise, and welcome back to From the Depths Quick Guides. And today, this video is shamelessly uh, inspired by Lethrix, he of the Lethland channel, because he is back in From the Depths if you haven't heard. He's one of my main inspirations, and uh, basically he's back making From the Depths content, which is fantastic. And he's discovered Cram Mortars, which reminded me that I haven't done a tutorial or a video uh, solely dedicated to these things. But they are all the rage right now, and for good reason, because they are fantastic. So, we're gonna get into that uh, right now, with the quick guide, talking about this stuff. So, there we have our usual Marauder, who is our target, and here we have some... a pair of weird-looking Cram Cannons. So what is this? Well, to summarize what Cram Mortars are, I'm assuming... Those of you watching already know what a cram cannon is, I have other videos on them, on how to do them properly and all that stuff. And it's... cram mortars are like an extreme version of the usual cram strengths and weaknesses. Like, everything that crams are good at, they are better at, but everything that crams are bad at, they are worse at. So, they are really good for stacked firepower, so particularly if you have them, since they aim straight up, you can have them on a craft basically not worrying about them shooting each other if you have them on turrets or anything like that. You can, this arrangement right here, which is fixed on the hull, you can cover a deck with these and they can all aim at the same target in all directions, provided there's a decent arc to it. So that's really good. You can stack loads of them. And because they come in at such a high angle, they come in like wee and then straight down on target, they tend to hit... Uh, Areas, particularly on ships, which are quite vulnerable, they blow turrets off, they destroy detection systems, they get through the usually thinner deck armor, it's just, it's really good. And they are really good against large slow craft because uh, they tend to be inaccurate and they do tend to miss a bit, but against large targets which are slow, that's less of an issue. And that being said, they are even worse than regular crams, despite... Uh, the fact that their shells have a slight homing quality to them, which I'll get in later. They are even worse than regular crams, like direct fire crams, against things which move quite quickly, so anything that moves over 40 meters per second is basically immune to them, and anything that moves really erratically. So, because of their homing, slow things that move erratically, they can hit quite reliably. Anything a little bit faster that janks around all over the place, they don't have much luck with. And... Yeah, so they're also pretty bad against things that fly high, because their whole shtick is that they fire high and arc down on a target, and if the target is high up, they can't get a good arc on it. So that doesn't really work so well. And they're pretty bad against submarines. I know people might uh, uh, argue with me on that, because cram depth charges apparently work quite well, but uh, just the shells slow down too much, and it's just, it's not a great way to hit a submarine. So, usual story. So, how do you make them? Well, first step, build a cram cannon. And we have two right here. Very simple, basic Tetris. And there's two ways to do them, I find. You can either, because the whole point is they aim up to hit something away. And you either have a, something like this. You have a fixed... Uh, thing, something stacked directly attached to the hull, pointing straight up, so if you see here this firing piece is aimed straight up, with a 45 and 45 uh, azimuth and elevation firing arc, so it can aim 45 degrees to the side and 45 degrees up and down. That's one way to do it. The other way is to have a turret with a more standard, or at least more standard for me, setup in which it can aim 80 degrees straight up, which is... Both of these work. I tend to prefer the fixed gun simply because you don't have to worry about the thing uh, rotating in place. You don't need to think about that at all. And the other thing you do is you go into the options. I'm just going to quickly correct the accuracy while I'm in there. Didn't do that. Maybe it's about one minute. You see here, uh, only consider low aiming eyes when firing, aiming this weapon. Set it to prefer high or only high. I tend to go for only high because that's more foolproof. And what that means is that... Me is that activates uh, the homing properties of the cram shell through magic I'm guessing because uh, when it's set to this option that's what gives uh, the cram shell that very slight APN guidance so it's about one degree per second so you need to kind of fiddle about and get it to the point where 
it flies high enough that it can take full advantage of that, but also so it flies fast enough that it can take advantage of that. So that's pretty cool. And so let's test fire these two guys. Hopefully I've done that correctly. So here you go, this thing is firing straight up in the air. Velocity is something to think about when you're using cram mortars. Uh, you don't want them too fast, but you also don't want them too slow. So you see, here it goes, and you should see it. Yeah, I think it just corrected itself there. It should land dead on target, right? Boom! Right there. So that's not a particularly strong one, but it can still put out a lot of hurt. So yeah, you can make them a lot stronger than this. But they're pretty darn accurate. So yeah, and by the way, high explosive is the only really option for these things. I messed about with uh, for about one minute with like frag, and just basically, I don't know, like high explosive seems to be the only thing that works reliably with cram mortars. Like, you could, I guess, have a penetration depth cram mortar, but there's not much point in that because most things aren't well that well armored on the top anyway, and have a lot of exposed components, so that's not really worth it. EMP needs to make dead contact, so that's not good either because these things do tend to fall on either side of a target, so high explosive is more handy there, although this is remarkably accurate at the, at the minute, it's amazing. And, uh, oh yeah, so, what should I say first? So the fuses I have these two rigged up with is that this fuse combination works really well when shooting at ships, so if we go here, fusing box, angle to explode is 15 degrees, so that's an inertial fuse. And low altitude fuse, so it explodes below zero meters, so hopefully, if you see... I'm not sure if that did it. Did it hit, or...? These guys are being really accurate right now, and I don't much care for it. Right there. So you see here, the shell exploded just below the water. So as soon as it goes below the water, below zero degrees elevation, it explodes. And it still managed to damage this marauder right here. So that is a very handy touch, and it means that shells that could, for instance, uh, whistle straight through gaps, will still do something. That's really nice. Okay, so that's basically it with them. They're reasonably simple to set up. I'm not going to say it's easy, because nothing from the depths is easy. But yeah, really good. And now I should probably give a demonstration of this. So, we're going to spawn in another Marauder. And then we're going to spawn in a ship I made just today, which is a fun little ship, because I just, sometimes with From the Depths, you just have a, an urge, a burning urge to build something, and when Lathrex, remember him, uh, went off his two-year break and made a cram mortar craft, I said, like, oh yeah, I got, I got to make one as well, thank you. I've made them before, but uh, I want to make another one. So... Shamelessly inspired by his, this is the Stubback, or Stubback. And it is uh, my usual, not very aesthetically pleasing thing. It's got a uh, multi-eyed chimney on top, because thank god for portholes, allowing uh, cameras to see straight through them, while still being armoured. It's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 14 cram cannons on the back, and a little AA gun in front, which is what uh, Lathrex did, which was hilarious and cool, and I loved it. So, with that, hopefully it doesn't get murdered by this marauder right here. So these are, uh, quite strong. Particularly that first volley, which is, like, really darn strong. Uh, are we gonna get murdered by this? No, we're not. Cool. So there is a thing with cram mortars at the moment, is sometimes they're a little bit too accurate. Hopefully this thing doesn't kill us. It might kill us. Oh my god, that was close. So this is a speedy little thing because it's making use of Daddy Blades stuck in the front. And let's see, can we actually kill the Marauder before it murders us? Because... It might actually set their... Vol uh, every time the Marauder fires, I get nervous. Oh, thank goodness. We. Why was I even worried? I think... Is it AI dead? It is not AI dead. Pardon me, just getting the thumbnail. Wee. Cram 
motors are just the best thing. Like, they used to be terrible and now they're really good. Not great against moving targets, but uh, not bad either. Oh, yes. Oh, Daddy likes that. Who is Daddy? I guess I'm Daddy in this instance. Why am I Daddy? I don't even know. But yeah, cram mortars. Uh, there is a... I think I've mentioned before, uh, like, while I'm shouting out various YouTubers, I've shouted out one who is, like, way bigger than me. That's Lathrix, hee <laughs> hee. I'm going to shout out uh, Menti again. His tournament is a cram-based tournament, and the mortar carriers are ridiculous. They are so strong in that. So, uh... It is a little bit disproportionate, because uh, when you only have crams, cram mortars are really good, simply because, like, 14 guns in such a small space. Like, no turret caps needed, uh, nothing like that. They don't need to point at the target, they just point up and just... The APN does the rest of it. Look at that, that's so amazing, it's so good. So yeah, that's the quick guide. Uh, quick by my standards anyway. A guide to cram mortars, I hope you liked it. Notice the mimic ring around uh, the, uh, what do you call it, around the flat gun. I, I like that. So yeah, I'm gonna put this little guy up on the workshop. Uh, it's not the best craft, I guess it isn't really finished, it has no missile defense or anything like that. Just so you can play around with it. And um, yeah, that's it. So thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon if you like, it really helps. Thank you to all my current Patreon supporters. And I will see you next time in From the Depths. Farewell!